According to Nui Scruggs of NBC, Mike Leach may be working on a deal to become the next head coach at Tennessee. Of course, Mike Leach was in Lubbock at Texas Tech for 10 years, then moved on to Washington State. He was there for six years. A deal could be announced on Friday. Dylan, do you think this would be a good fit? It's interesting because obviously they want someone who can come in and revamp the offense and get them back to the glory days of winning the national championship with T. Martin, before that with Peyton Manning. A, a program where dynamic offensive high school football players want to go. Mike Leach certainly brings that to the table. We know he's an offensive mind, uh, a very creative thinker as far as the way he game plans offensively. The funny part now, I, ironically, when you look at Kevin Sumlin, when you look at Todd Graham recently being fired from their respective schools, they did okay at the onset of their most recent jobs, but then a steady decline. Mike Leach is almost the opposite, especially at Washington State. You look at a guy that's only one game over 500 total at Wazoo at 37 and 36, but the last three years, he's really picked it up and For made sure. that a program to be reckoned with out in the Pac-12. Now, there are some questions. You remember everything that happened down at Texas Tech with Craig James's son, Adam James, and the whole benching them and putting them in a closet, whatever the hell happened with Mike Leach and trying to send a message to what he thought was, you know, a prima donna, uh, a pretty boy son of an established broadcaster and former great football player. It was ugly. It, it just reeked of, you know, a, a grown man fighting with an adolescent boy. Yep. That's yep. something that surprises me because obviously it seemed like those protests in Knoxville on campus completely squashed the potential hiring of Greg Schiano. And after the Shiano, you know, evaporated, after all that seemed to uh, to go away rapidly, I really felt like they were going to go some with a completely squeaky clean resume and somebody that you felt like the program is going to be in unbelievable hands. Now, other than save a couple of things with Mike Leach and maybe a lack of maturity, he runs pretty clean programs, but right. there are some checkers, you know, a little bit of a checkered past. So I am interested with that, but... I thought Sumlin would have been a better hire. Absolutely. We heard a lot of uh, dots connecting Sumlin, recently fired from AM, going up to Knoxville. Staying in the SEC, going from west to east. I feel like they're getting nervous, though. After you Dave have Dorn, to, though. After Dave Doran turned them down today, after they've been spurned by Cutcliffe, many people. Mike Gundy. I feel like they're sort of like, let's just get someone with a brand right. name that at least we could feel good in one aspect of the new hire. And if this is going to happen and Leach goes to Tennessee – you know he's going to revamp the offense. So I think that's what the athletic department is hanging their hat on right now. Leach certainly a very experienced coach, but I'm with you. It just doesn't seem like that would be a right fit. Kind of a quirky guy, says crazy statements in the media. You know, doesn't really seem like that's a coach that Tennessee fans will really embrace. He doesn't really get the fan base riled up. And, and I, that's something you think, think Tennessee will want. that's why it worked at, at Wazoo. It was yeah. Sort of a smaller program with less expectations. He could be a little zany. He yep. could kind of be... You know, the, the, the mad Off scientist the wall, yep. at, at Knoxville, the, the lights are going to be pretty bright on him. He's going to have to do a good job rapidly there. We'll see if that deal does get finalized. We will continue to follow.